Ladies and gentlemen, we move on to the one you've been waiting for. Maybe the most highly anticipated match on this card. It is about to go down. Ladies and gentlemen, we move to the men's right hand and the super heavyweight division. For a battle between two of the most exciting arm wrestlers the sport has ever produced. They are about to meet for the first time. Firstly... I'd like you to welcome this arm wrestler to the table. He hails from and is representing Red Deer, Alberta, Canada. He is known as the Wild Horse, Matt Meyer! Ladies and gentlemen, every time the Wild Horse enters any arm wrestling stage and or match, there's one thing to be certain. He is the show. Never before has he been outmatched when it comes to excitement. And his opponent, ladies and gentlemen, no needs an introduction. He is representing Brazil. And he is a multiple continental champion, Brazilian national champion, and is also a multiple WAF champion of the world. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Jack Jesus, Bagna Mortalato! Well, tonight, Travis, he might be equally matched on excitement. We have the earthquake himself, Wagner Mortalato, the only guy I know to be breaking the arm wrestling table here at East versus West jerking it so much the platform comes off we are in for probably the match of the night here this is what most people tuned in for because how crazy can this get ladies and gentlemen pay attention to the connection how close is wagner's wrist to the tall lanky praying mantis type matte mask because there's no doubt you will see at the beginning the right shoulder, the right wrist, the right bicep. The train is coming down the tracks. Wagner is 100% going to be committed to that pressure. And let's see. And once again, Matt Mass, the connection's not bad now. You can see it change just a little. There's just too much power. But not a bad start for not, Matt Mass. Not, not a bad start at all for Matt Mass. He did his position. I mean, so Wagner went bent wrist, and then he, he went from bent wrist to curling it back into a hook, which was very impressive. Um, Matt may have just ran out of leverage there, a little bit of room there at the end of the pad to get turned into a hook, but very, very promising start from Matt Mask. I'm going to be honest, that's impressive. So one of two things have taken place. Either Matt Mask felt that he had a significant advantage and was comfortable enough to start this match without the referee's assistance and get a pretty good bite on that hand and wrist. I'm hoping that that is not true. I'm hoping that if he utilizes the ref grip, he can get a better grip, maybe one that will force the strap and or it didn't look like he needed much more. Another half inch, a little more separation from those bottom two fingers, and he would be far enough out to actually get a win. From Wags. Let's see if he'll get to that set grip or he just feels comfortable. He, he's way. looking like he's just ready to fire off on him. Go! Ah! <laughs> oh! 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 <laughs> I told you once, I'll tell you again. We're doing this again. The wild horse runs this house when it comes to arm wrestling excitement. Watch the jump. Boom. The right hand. You think that he broke his right mangly ring finger from arm wrestling. It's but from actually, it's from pounding on this table like an absolute maniac. Ladies and gentlemen, 
This is a great matchup. If they get too close, Wagner's got the power. If the wild horse can stay outside just enough, you will see what we all just seen, an outside amazing victory from Matt Mask. Few things better than a, a pumped up, excited Matt Mask. I mean, that was every time he gets that win and gets that confidence. I think the confidence is just what he needed. Wagner's right is not what his left is. He had some nerve damage some years back, but I know he's been training his right pretty seriously. So uh, I don't know if he has the same commitment with the shoulder he does with his left. But right now, that leverage of Matt Mask looks very impressive. I have never been a big Wagner fan. Once he broke you all up, I just immediately, Michael Todd, became, he became an enemy of mine. <laughs> well, I appreciate that, Travis. Thanks for, the, thanks for having my back. <laughs> okay. All right. That is one huge human being, though. Remember when he used to be 110 kgs and now he's like 155? <laughs> I think he just passed out and caught himself. All right, Wags. That's freaking studliness there. That guy just passed out, had a sugar slash diabetes asthma attack, just like Neil Pickup had earlier in the week, and he regained it back in six seconds. Shoulders, Matt, you first. Yeah. Wagner does not look comfortable. He's shaking his head. He's about to get hit outside hard. Go! <laughs> Don't break your arm. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> He's one away from being back on the winning streak. He said 2024 is going to be a different year for him. Ladies and gentlemen, take a look at the length, the outside precision, and the uncontrollable aggression. Matt Mask is here. Listen, every since he started taking that Vitacell and the hair started creeping back up on this man's head, I see a new guy, Michael Todd. His name, Matt, the wild horse, Mask. So the best thing that could happen right now is for somehow Wagner to get into this match. He looks, he looks like something. Neil said, "My man, I experienced the same thing." Did he tear? Two days ago. Yeah, I know. But I mean, if, imagine if he could get back in, in the tide switches. If he has that crazy celebration, he might be. I think he just tore his bicep. From the top. So there is concern, Michael. I'm trying to get to the bottom of it. Looks like everyone's concerned about possible the arm problems there of Wagner. Wagner reassuring everyone. Not a big deal here. He threw right. the thumbs up and a, uh, a good grizzly growl, but I don't know if that's a smart move right now. Let's talk about the Dude, are you sure? severe artery blockage that is probably going on in this man's chest right now. I don't know who's in charge, Wagner's management, but any extra excitement before or after the match should be completely cut off. Oh, <laughs> So he's, he's grabbed his arm, he's grabbed his pec. Um, I have no idea what's going to happen, but if he gets connection with that press and gets on, on, on Matt's arm, it could be bad. But I think Matt's got the I confidence. Just, oh, he's going outside, and this is bad for him. I just go. heard Matt whisper, if he dies, he dies. I cannot believe the Canadian said that. Or... Holy fuck, I won one, man. <laughs> Jesus. Hey. Hey. Yo, you're a crazy cunt. Keep fucking pulling like that, you fucking lunatic. <laughs> the answer is yes, Matt Mask. Without Wagner a shadow of a is doubt. a lunatic. Ladies and gentlemen, we could see from the very beginning the wild horse had a connection he liked. 
It just took one round to get just outside the hand enough. The continued excitement from Wagner was not enough. The wild horse was in rare form. I believe before this match, people told Matt Mass, listen, this big guy's going to come in and press you, and he's going to be so exciting, no one's even going to know you're here. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that did not happen. The wild horse is so entertaining, so flamboyant, such charisma and excitement. What a treat here in East First West. Matt Mask, great job, young man. I know this is a new experience for Matt Mask, being a winner of a match on East versus West. Congratulations. Usually. Usually I'm the motherfucker standing over there and say what it's like to feel like losing, so I don't know. I don't really know what to say. I haven't prepared a speech or anything. <laughs> uh, did anything surprise you from Wagner? He opened up really strong. Yeah, I wasn't expecting him to be that quick off the goal. I wasn't expecting the goal to come that soon. I thought we were going to fight a little more for the setup. We were going to be pushing a little back and forth. Uh, strong, strong, strong. Wasn't sure <coughs> exactly where his right would be coming in. It's been a while since he's pulled. I don't know if this was the best version. I really hope whatever happened was bicep gets healed up. If I had to sell, you might want to get hold of this motherfucker. Maybe hook him up with something. So, I, I have a feeling round number three. Did you hear something? Because it looks like he popped his bicep, but he didn't care. He's like, I'm just going to continue. I'm just going to continue. Honestly, I didn't hear fuck all. I just seen him fucking kind of grabbing it. So I really... Don't really hear anything when I'm up here, so uh, it was just seeing him grabbing it kind of worried me. Went into that fourth round, I wasn't really sure how he was going to be coming into it. Uh, he ended up driving in on that press. I felt pretty good when he snuck it in, but uh, I really, really worried I was going to end up hurting him any more, a little more than what he already was. And that's the last thing any of us want to do up here is hurt another one of us, uh, one another one of our soldiers. So, uh, 2024 is it going to be year of Matt Mask? Right now we're on a hell of a start, right? So right now it's sitting pretty good. I just want a huge shout out, Red Your Arm Wrestling Club. All you motherfuckers, I fucking love you. Uh, if it wasn't for any of you guys, I probably wouldn't be where I am right now. Uh, my family, my friends, everybody that supported me throughout, even throughout the losses, still kept showing up, support me, checking out the pay-per-views that I'm attending. All you motherfuckers, I owe you my life. Uh, and I can't forget, especially Vitacell Biologics, Honestly, you guys keep hearing about them. You're gonna hear about it some more because if it wasn't for them I don't think my elbow would be able to stand up to anything that has been put through for the last six months Honestly, no aches and pains anywhere. The shit is absolutely unbelievable. Vitacell Biologics I fucking owe you my arm wrestling career Matt Mask!